All right, let's look at my third workflow. And this is mapping CAD files to BIM components. We realize that there are a lot of companies in this subcontractor world who haven't moved or shift gears into adoption of BIM and their, their, their uh, deliverables are subject to the use of uh, CAD-based uh, uh, files. In this workflow, we have an FFNE consultant um, uh, who's hired by an architect to provide a schematic count and distribution of uh, furniture in um, a residential facility. The FFNE plan is sent to the architect who is using Revit, and the architect provides feedback to the FFNE consultant. All these processes are hosted using the cloud, Hortus Docs. Um, the tools used in this workflow are AutoCAD, uh, Revit, and all hosted via Autodesk Docs. So see in action. This is an, the AutoCAD file provided by your consultants. We have a distribution of furniture and equipment. In this case, I just did the, the, the beds. But, uh, in, you can use this for multiple type of blocks in CAD. This is two-dimensional CAD, and this is a this is a result of the work of the FFNE contract. The, F, the, the FFNE contract can save the file directly into the cloud and link it, and you can link it directly into Revit. Uh, in this case, I'm going to map the CAD files into Revit, uh, but first I have to link the file. Um, once the file is linked, uh, it will be living as a two-dimensional entity in the Revit object. But I'm going to use a tool developed by Bird Tools called the CAD Mapper, which enabled me to map AutoCAD blocks to Revit families. And this is a free tool available to you in the Autodesk uh, uh, portal, in the Autodesk uh, uh, vendor site. Uh, what the CAD blocker is going to do is going to, uh, after you select the link file, it's going to uh, read what are the blocks nested into that dimensional CAD, present you with a dialog box that allow you to map those definitions. The only requirement is you need to have the same insertion point as the family. Um, here you see the uh, tool in action. I'm selecting the link file in this web-based and then cloud-based uh, file. Uh, the tool allowed me to map um, AutoCAD blocks to Revit families. Uh, I'm just gonna do the example for one of the families. Uh, again, the requirements, they have the same insertion point. You can potentially use ceiling base and wall hosted uh, components. So think about the potential of this mapping switches and uh, electrical outlets uh, mapping from two dimensional to 3D. And in just two seconds, you have the appropriate mapping in 3D where the architect can actually see the spatial implication of having uh, the element in a uh, beam environment. This is an attempt to BIMify 2D uh, workflows into a 3D enabled workflow. Um, all right, the summary of the workflows here is uh, consultants have this ability to share CAD in the cloud if they are part of a team. You have the ability to link those CAD files into your BIM enabled uh, uh, model. And using tools like the block mapper, or even using Dynamo, uh, you can map the DWG definitions into uh, your current uh, model. All of these hosted by Autodesk Docs. 